Good evening. I greet you with great Jesus joy. My name is Pastor Zelda Washington, and I welcome you to our weekly Wednesday service. On behalf of our bishop, the Bishop Colton T. Brown, welcome to Bethel Gospel Assembly. Now, I do want you to know, for the last three weeks, we've been doing something incredibly different, um, and yet so enriching to our lives as believers, and even the non-believer. Uh, we've been digging into the word, but we've been doing it Bethel style, Bible trivia. So I welcome you tonight. I welcome you to the final episode of season one, Bethel Gospel Assembly Bible Trivia. God bless you all. I'm going to ask you right now to go ahead and share this broadcast with a friend. If you've been enjoying this first season of Bible Trivia, would you go ahead and put some shout outs in the chat? If you want us to bring back a second season, give us some feedback. Let us know that this is something that you absolutely want to be a part of. We're excited to have you here tonight. And boy, 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 am I excited to introduce to you the two teams tonight. But before we get started, let us open in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you and we bless you for your goodness and your mercy. It continues to chase us down. I thank you, Lord God, for every person that is sitting around a computer or with a handheld device locked into this service to grow their minds, to grow, Lord, in their relationship with you. I pray blessings upon them. I pray, Lord God, discipline upon their lifestyles. And I pray, Lord God, that you will continue to ignite in them a hunger to search your word that we may not sin against you. I ask you, Lord, if there's anybody that may be watching that's in need of a touch in their body, we call you our Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer. Would you heal them tonight? Would you enlarge their faith to believe that you are a healing God? Not only are you a healing God, but you can and you will do it. So I speak healing over the one that is sick tonight. For the one that stands in need of provision, I pray the provisions of the Lord upon your life. Now God bless us because if you bless us, we shall be blessed. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Come on, let the church say amen out there. If you're watching, say amen. If you invited somebody, put in the chat, yeah, that's me. Who'd you invite? Tell somebody. Don't just keep it to yourself, but tell somebody. So we're really excited to get started. Let's get started for the night. But before I get us started, I really want to talk about the game rules for Bible trivia because there are some rules. and We all need to be clear about the rules. So here are the rules for the night. A representative from each team will be given a question. The individual to get the answer right first will opt to pass or play first. The team will play until they get an answer wrong. If the answer is wrong, the other team has the opportunity to steal the point. Even if the other team gets the answer wrong, they'll be in control of the board. The first round of points is worked in. The second round is worth 20 points. The third is 30. And the final round is something really different. It's each question, it's worth 40 points. Each team will get four questions. If the team gets it wrong and the other team would like to get those points, if they answer the question correctly, they can get the points. But if they answer the question incorrectly, they will actually lose the points in the final round. And this is where it gets really, really exciting. The team with the most points will win a prize. And most importantly, bragging rights. You understand that? Bragging rights. So I'm excited to get us started. We have two teams, the men versus the women. We have fearless the women's team, and I'm going to call out the team captain for this team. Would you help me welcome to the podium or to the platform, Miss Camille Moore, who's representing Team Fearless tonight. Yes. Hi, Camille. How are you? I am doing great. I'm so excited to see you. So listen, you're the team captain for Fearless tonight, and honey, you guys already look fearless. I won't tell them how I saw y'all matching gear and all that going on. But Camille, before we get started and you introduce your team, tell us a little bit about yourself. So me, I have been at Bethel for over 30 years and I work as a teacher for about 20 years. And uh, I love to learn new things. I love to teach, but I also love yep. to learn new things. And right now I'm 
taking a class and learning how to play the guitar. Would you believe that? I'm a part of the women's ministry at Bethel Gospel Assembly, Women of Warfare. And mm. I'm also a part of Restoration and Healing Ministry. And All so, right, representing for the women. I yeah. see you. So Camille, before we go, before you introduce your team, how many years have you been teaching? I've been I mean, teaching. What, what grade? 20 years, but what grade? 20 years, I've taught all grades from K through five. Wow, what's your favorite? My favorite, I really love uh, second grade. Oh my, that is my favorite grade is too. It? I love the I second love graders. Second grade is my grade. They're just, they're right at that point. Like, right? They get what's to third sweet? grade, they're like, who are you? Like, yeah. who are you? Like, yeah, but sweet. second That's grade, great. I love them. I, I mean, I love kindergarten too, but I love second grade. That's my sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Um, Thank you for sharing that. Why don't you bring out your fearless team? Bring them out to the uh, stage. Yes. So playing with us with me tonight is none other than Alana Barrett-Atkins. All right. <laughs> Dawn Roberts. Ooh. And Sherelle Baptiste. And this, this is fearless is, team. <laughs> maybe this is fearless. This is powerful. Brothers, look out. Before we bring on the brothers, though, before they bring that, like uh, Alana, tell us, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, I um, I make movies. I'm a film director, producer. I'm also an actor, and I'm a professor. I I teach at two different colleges, and guess what? I get paid to do all of those things. So <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> if you need a job, you know, you like acting. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just joking. We're excited to have you, Alana. Dawn, De the deacon Dawn, um, the deacon, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a teacher. Uh, that's it. I teach. <laughs> it. You know, over. I have been teaching forever. And I really? just like Camille, I've taught all grades, but right now I am with fifth graders. And they have really grown on me. They're special human people. Yes, and, um, yes, yes, ma'am. I really do love them. They drive me crazy, but I do love them. And There's above all, above all, I love teaching. Um, I That's teach awesome. In the church, I teach anytime I get an opportunity. I love doing it. So that's, that's awesome. basically my biggest um, peeve. I love it. That's it. That's awesome. And there's a special dispensation of, of grace on you, honey, to teach any middle school students. <laughs> Only God can do it. <laughs> Only God. Um, Sherelle, we see you on. Sherelle, tell us about yourself. Okay, well, I'm not a teacher like my teammates. I leave oh. that for them. They have the grace for that. <laughs> so I'm a CPA um, that's an accountant. And um, what else about me? I'm a Pure Island girl. I love everything tropical, including the heat and mangoes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that is awesome. That's good to know you're an accountant. I'm gonna call you after after the service tonight. Yes, I, we always need a good accountant, right? Uh, well, Team Fearless, you you guys look fearless, but I want to bring out your opponents tonight mm. and help me bring to the stage the uh, team captain for the Warriors team, Elder William, William Clark. Will, come on out here. Boom. Yes, sir. What's going on? Yes. Tell the people about yourself, Will. So uh, I get to proudly captain Team Warriors uh, because, you know, the kingdom suffers violence, but the violence take about force. Wow. So Sorry. it might get a, a little rough tonight for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a minister at Bethel. Um, I've been at Bethel now for, I want to say, from my own age, about 13 <laughs> years. Wow. Um, I get to uh, co-teach the College Bound Teens at Sunday School with my brother, my best friend, Elder James. Um, Shout out to Sunday school. Shout out oh, to yeah, Sunday of school. Course, of course. Yeah, go ahead. Get into Christian Ed. Get into your classes. Yes. And uh, for work, I am a healthcare administrator at Memorial Sloan Kettering in the Breast Cancer and Metastatic Cancer Division. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I didn't know that, Will. This, it's, it's good to know this. Will, well, why don't you um, bring out 
the brothers, your team, the warriors uh, that are riding with you. See, you know, the ladies, you have a good squad. Um, we're a little about number today, you know, it's four to three. Uh, but I got my OGs with me. I have Elder Darren and Brother Alvin. Y'all so they came <laughs> to play today, the Warriors. It is so good to oh, see them. Let's find out a little bit about them. I see you on um Elder Darren. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Elder Darren. Um I go to this amazing church in Manhattan called Bethel Gospel Assembly. Um, I just retired two months ago from an organization that I worked for for 27 years. And um, it's been two months on retirement and I'm enjoying you know, that existence. I graduated in May with my BA in African-American history. Yes, um, sir. And all is well, uh, uh, you know, I'm married. Some of you know that I'm married to uh, Dayanette, Deaconess Dayanette, her and uh, yeah. Deacon Donna on the same team. And, uh, you know, and uh, I have two amazing children, two amazing daughters and two amazing grandchildren. And my life is amazing. And by the way, I, I retired from an organization called Bethel Gospel Assembly. So amazing. You know, yeah. That is amazing. Amazing. And tell us, like, what I'm just curious to know. Your first day of retirement, what was that like? What'd you do? My first day of retirement, I was trying to figure out how I was going to start the introduction to the paper that I have to do to close out my grade. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you know, I thought you were going to say something profound, like I went to, no, you know, this I, I, was in the I, I was in the library for uh, six hours that day trying to figure out how to get the thoughts out of my head onto the paper so that they can be congruent and mean something to the reader that will eventually read my work. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And last but definitely not least, my brother, Brother Elvin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Alvin. Yes, I'm Alvin. And of course, I have been in Bethel since you Since when? Royals. And I am working, still working for Bethel 67 years now. I'm mm -hmm. praying that any a young person to come and take over. And I like what I do, and I, but above all, I love God first. I love His work. Amen. Well, you're going to soar in this game tonight because you love His word. <laughs> He's you nice. love his word. Well, I am so excited about both teams, Team Fearless and the Warriors. And the question is, who's going to take home the bragging rights tonight? Yeah. Audience, who do you think? Just just, just being prophetic. <laughs> well, what's your prophetic? <laughs> Don't pop fly either. Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of said not to pop fly. Who's Don't taking it home? Mm. There's a number of votes out there for the fearless women. Oh, warriors, look out, look out. There's some for the warriors as well. Well, we don't have to wait any longer. Let's get started. Uh, yeah, they all have on red for the blood. The blood of Jesus That's has it. been covered. That's hey, good. they have on red. And they're covered. Covered. <laughs> so I want to tell you about three rounds. In this game, you're going to go through your three rounds, and then you'll have your final round, which is a mixture of the rounds. The first round will be called the master teacher. The second one is the exorcist. And the third one will be scripture said. Let's get started. I'm going to ask your team oh, captains wow. to come out for the master teacher. And in the master teacher, these are parables in the Bible. Questions around the parables in the Bible. So Will is representing the warriors as the team captain. Camille is representing the women. And here, fearless. So here's the question. Here's your question. The first person to give me an answer will decide whether or not they want to pass or play. Here's your question. In the parable of the lost sheep, how many sheep were lost? One. Camille, one. Is that your final answer? My final answer. That is correct. One is correct. And you can find that in Matthew chapter 18. It was one sheep. Yes. Look at that. High five. Come on. Come, Come on. on. We'll play. Would you like to pass a play? We're playing. We're going to play. We're going to play. Yes. We're play. 
<laughs> we're, we're, yeah, allowing them, we're allowing them to go first. Take go. Okay. 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 okay, so here's your first question. In the parable of the prodigal son, what animal did the father request to be served to celebrate the prodigal son's return? A, a goat, B, a pig, C, a calf, or D, a ram? 30 seconds. B, a calf. B, a calf. Yeah, it's got to be because they didn't handle pigs there. And that group. So it has to be a calf, yes. Is, but is they, a calf your final but, answer? But they, but they did have goat, didn't they? They had goat. They had that. No, 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 C, she was dying, or D, she was persistent. Persistent. Uh, yeah. Persistent. D, D. Because she had the money, yeah. Right. It's because she was persistent. D is your final crying. answer? He is our yeah. final answer. She was crying. With and you. you are correct. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay, correct. Let's go to the third question. In the parable of the talents, if the master calls his servant lazy because A, he stole the talents, B, he gave the talents, C, he ignored the talent, or D, he buries the talent. He buried it. He buried it. Yeah, he didn't steal anything. He buried it. He buried the talent. Is that your final answer? Final answer, D. And D is correct. Your final answer is correct. You, the women are rolling. Ladies, we've never had anyone to clear the entire board. So no pressure, but here's question number four. In the parable of the weeds and the wheat, where did the weeds come from? A, birds drop weeds in the field. B, the enemy sold weeds in the field. The C, enemy sold. weeds grew up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> y'all want, y'all just got it? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. The, I mean, the Ready. doctor's on. The doctor, do I told y'all, listen, you got to dig it down on here. C, weeds grew up naturally, or D, the master sold weeds. Weeds in the, the enemy, the enemy, the, 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 the enemy, enemy sold the weeds. So we'll go with that as our final answer. B, the enemy sold the weeds. And unfortunately, warriors, they're going to keep control of the board because they got it right. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Question number five. Which of these is not included in the parable of lost things? A, the coin. B, the sun. C, the sheep. Or D, the pearl, 30 seconds. Well, we just went over that the coin was, I the think sun. the sheep was lost and we, the sun was lost. There was a lost sun. So it's, I think it's the lost pearl. The pearl 20 was 20 seconds. No. Which of these is no. not, not included? The lost things. Right, the pearl, the pearl. It's yes. The pearl, the pearl was not lost. So no, that was not lost. The part gets mm -hmm. five seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Final answer. D final answer. D final answer. Yes. And D is correct. We okay. use those yes. SAT skills. Skills in Luke fifteen. It shows you that it was the pearl is the one thing that is not mentioned there. Just Let's try. continue. Number six, doing really well. And Luke's version of the parable of the great banquet, which was not an excuse used for not attending. A, had to take care of recently purchased land. B, had to care for five yoke of oxen. C, violated the Sabbath. Or D, just got married. 30 seconds. I remember land being talked about, oxen being talked about, somebody um, just- Violate the Sabbath. Violated. Violated the Sabbath. Right. Are we in agreement? Yes. yes. Okay. Final answer. Yeah. Final answer. And C is correct. Boom! You got that. Way to go. Way to go. Give them some love out there. Give them some fire out there because these women are fearless right now. Are you ready for the next question? We're ready. Question number seven. In the parable of the rich man and the beggar, while the rich man was being tormented, he looked up and saw this old 
Testament patriarch? Was it A, Abraham? Was it B, Moses? Was it C, Jacob? Or was it D, Elijah? Abraham. 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 We don't think it was Jacob or Moses or Elijah. So I think we will go with A, Abraham. My teammate said Final Abraham. Answer. I'm going with Abraham. Abraham. And going with Abraham is just the right thing to do in the spirit because Abraham is right. Letter A. Let's take on the eighth question. What is the shortest parable of Jesus? Is it A, two sons? Is it B, lost coins is it c yeast or is it d mustard seed 30 seconds wow. the lost coin is a longer one the two sons i think it's the mustard seed because that's only like a couple of verses it talks about what do you think what do you guys quick, think quick 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 i, I don't think it's c for sure D. D. Final D. answer. D. Final answer, D. D. And you are incorrect. Mm. It is not mustard seed. So yeah, now control that, yeah. goes over. The mm. brother, the warriors, would you like to try to gain those 10 points? You don't lose if you get it wrong. The question is, what is the shortest parable of Jesus? Two sons, lost, lost coin, or yeast? What's he? 25 seconds. Who say that? What do you say, uh, Alvin? Yes. Come on now. Ye yes. Alvin said yes. We yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And yeast is correct. You can find that in Matthew chapter 13 and Luke chapter 13. It is yeast. And brothers, yes. you're on the board. Here's oh. a question. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Here's a question for you, my brothers. In the parable of the rich man, poor man, and the lambs, why did the rich man take the poor man's lamb? A, to entertain a guest. B, he coveted the poor man's lamb. C, to offer the lamb as a sacrifice. Or D, the lamb was unblemished. You have 30 seconds. He coveted the man's lamb, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking B. Yeah. I'm going B. We're going with B. D? B. Is that your final, final answer? answer? Yeah. Yes. And B is incorrect, War. Oh. Come on, me. Come on, me. We know this. Come on, fearless, we know fearless, this. We fearless know women. We know In the parable of the rich man, poor man, the lambs. Why did the rich man take the poor man's lamb? Which one is it? Yeah. Is it A to entertain the guests? He covered the poor man's lamb to offer the lamb as a sacrifice. Or the lamb was unblemished. It's A. He he wanted to just serve it for a guest. He wanted to serve it. A. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys know anything? And you better stay firm and strong on that final answer because A is correct. This was not the parable of Jesus. This was referenced in the Old Testament yes. in Second Samuel. Uh -huh. Yes, that was correct. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Here's the final question for this round. Final question. Which one of these animals is not mentioned by Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount? A, who gets to answer this one? Who's, B, who the question's for? This is for Fearless because they're in control oh. of the board right now, Warriors. Oh, okay. Um, A, pigs, B, oxen, C, dogs, or D, snakes? 30 seconds. What do you guys think? Is it uh, B, oxen? 20 seconds. Alvin's an oxen. He talks about oxen. He talks about dogs. He talks about pigs. I snakes. think it's so snakes. Snakes. Uh, it's either pigs or snakes. I am not too sure in that one. Which I'd one? say A. I think I'll go with you. Either A or, or D. A. Uh, <laughs> you said A was your final <laughs> answer? And that is incorrect team fearless not the pig. let's go over to the warriors warriors you're in control of the board right now would you like to take a stab at the answer which one of these animals is not mentioned by jesus in the sermon on the mount and we is don't lose the, any points whether we get it right or wrong right 
<laughs> That's right. My okay, elder. so Will, what you think? Um, the last thing that the that that Fearless said was C, uh, D snakes. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Right. Let's leap of faith right here. What? What? Dumb. Dogs. Okay. We're losing top. Uh, I trust Brother Alvin. No, no, no. What? <laughs> And nobody gets the points for oh, that. Man. I'm so sorry, but the answer was oxen. The answer was oxen. Here's the wow. final, the real final question for this round. And it reads this. Jesus quotes a portion of the text from the Old Testament oh, in connection with the parable of the vineyard owner. The stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner. But which Old Testament book did this come from? Was it A, Psalm? Was it B, Isaiah? Was it C, Ezekiel? Or was it D, Jeremiah? B. 30 seconds. What'd you say, Alden? I'm saying I'm B. That scripture is in B. Isaiah. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yeah, final answer. And that is incorrect. <laughs> Not Isaiah. Fearless, okay, you have so the opportunity. Where do you think that comes you from? You sure? I thought that was Ezekiel. Where do you think it comes Jesus from? Jesus quotes a portion of the text from the Old Testament connection with the parable of I feel Ezekiel. In Ezekiel. Final I'm answer. Feel, I'm feeling you, Alana. Okay, C, so we'll go with final C, answer. We'll go with C, Ezekiel. C, and that is incorrect. Mm. Fearless. The answer is Psalm. In Psalm 118, wow. that's where that is actually quoted. Yeah. What, what, what was the original question? I thought so. Jesus yeah. quotes a portion of the text from the Old Testament okay. in connection with the parable. Yes, sir. So yeah, sir. that yeah. ends yeah. round. That's the end of our round. Huge shout out for mm. all of you. There is, uh, now I'm ready to give you the score. So a huge drum roll. Drum roll. Right now, on the board and holding on strong is the Warriors with 10 points. And with a strong start and a strong lead, it's Fearless with 80 points. There are two more rounds to go. This is still anybody's game. Mm -hmm. Get in the game, Warriors, and let's see that Warrior spirit. Ready? I'm going to need two representatives from each team. It could be your captains or anyone that's going to represent the team for the control of the board question. I would say. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Sherelle. So it will be Sherelle against who on the Warriors team? Oh, Darren or Brother Alvin? Let's see. Brother Elvin. Yes. Brother Darren. I mean Darren. Okay. Elvin Darren. <laughs> this round, it. round two, is called The Exorcist. Demons and angels in the Bible. Okay. Only answer if you know it. Ready? Here we go. Here's your control the board question. What does the word angel mean? A, messenger. B, singer. C, warrior, or D, protect the first one to answer. Messenger. And messenger is correct. Hey. Way to go, fearless. Hey, fearless. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we play, we play. We're going to play, Steve. We're going to play, Steve. <laughs> and yes, we're going to play. It. All right, here we go. Here's your question. Question number one. Where does Satan first appear in the Bible? Is it A, the Garden of Eden, B, Noah's Ark, C, Slaying of Cain and Abel, or D, the Tower of Babel? The well, Garden of Eden, yeah. the Garden of Eden think, yeah. is the first thing in the Bible, so, so it has to be the Garden Yes, because all of y'all will be stripped of y'all title if y'all got this wrong. A. And a that is answer. correct. A, <laughs> correct. The Garden of Eden. Here's your second question. Where does Satan first appear in the New Testament? A, when Jesus betrays Jesus. B, when Joseph finds out Mary is pregnant. C, at the baptism of Jesus. Or D, when Jesus is in the wilderness. 30 seconds. I, I think it's D. In the 
Yeah. yeah. I don't think that the, the devil comes when Mary's pregnant or when Judas. That's far into Judas it. is after. I would say D after too. The, Do yeah, we agree? So we say D. Yes. yes. So D, D final answer. D. And D is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Here's your next question. Question number three, round two. To which disciple does Jesus say, "Get thee behind me, Satan"? Is it A. Peter? Yeah. Is it B Thomas? Is it C yeah. James or is it D Andrew? So we don't think it was Andrew. Yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Peter. Is that Thomas? Thomas? It's Peter. 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 Final answer. Peter. We agree. Final. Peter. And Peter is correct. Way to go. Way to go, Team Fearless. Here's your next question. Brother what Alvin, are you of... okay? Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> You got your head down, and yes. all right. I just want to make sure you were okay because don't let these women don't let these women scare so you, funny? brother Alvin. I so don't funny. let them scare you. No, 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 no. I'm not scared. No, no, no. I'm yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, it might be the Lord who He's wants them waiting. to win. We can't He's do nothing waiting. about that. The game. He's just waiting to come into the game. Okay. Yeah, he's he waiting. To, he's waiting parent. to get in. He's waiting yes. to get in. He went into the upper room. It's okay, Alvin. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, he's waiting to get in. Okay. Here's the question, Team Fearless. What type of angel did Isaiah hear cry out, "Holy, holy, holy"? A. Seraph. B. Cherubim. C. Uriel. Or D. Archangel. Thirty seconds. The cherub. Well, we know it's A or B. Uh, I think it's it's the cherubim or the seraph. <laughs> well, you got fifteen think, seconds. Like, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, think cherub a. cherubim. Try B. Yes, yes. Let's okay, do B. Final answer. Cherubim. And that is incorrect. <laughs> I'm going to go over to Team Warriors. Would you like to take a stab at the answer? What type of angel did Isaiah hear cry out, holy, holy? 25 seconds. Seraphs. A. The Seraph. A, the Seraph. Yeah. And A, fight, A, so A, is, A is correct. Yeah. And you get hey. 20 points. Oh. All Glory. right. Yes. They're on the board. They're on the A. board. Yeah, no, we all are on the board. board. Don't, don't act yeah. like we're on the board. No, they finally get to talk. On the board. They finally get a question. Ask us the next question. Please, we have all the questions. Hold on, shut up for a second. We need to hear our question. Make it, take it. Okay. Here's your question, warrior. Which is not a biblical term for hell? A. Hades. B. Gehenna. C. Purgatory. Or D. Sheol. C. C is a Catholic term and has nothing to do with Christi uh, with the Christianity that we believe. It's C. Is that purgatory. your final answer, it's sir? You just yes, purgatory. And that is correct, <laughs> gentlemen. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, that is correct. Yes, bro. Is. I feel like I'm on Jeopardy. <laughs> Here's your next question. The Lord sent a harmful spirit to torment this king. Was it A, Saul? Was it B, Pharaoh? Or was it C, Nebuchadnezzar? Or D, Circes? Saul. 30 seconds. Saul. It'll be Saul. A. Saul. Final answer? Oh. Final. And Saul is correct. Come on, brothers, let's go. You're oh. in this game. Here's your next question. After the temptation in the wilderness, the only other place where an angel appears before Jesus is A, the Mount of Transfiguration, B, in the Garden of Gethsemane, C, on the cross of Calvary, or D, in the upper room after the resurrection. 30 seconds. Hmm. I'm gonna say A. What do you guys think? I said B. B. Yeah, it, uh, because uh, at the mount, the the others Bloody disappear. Push. The others disappear. And the angel's voice comes and says, "This is my beloved uh, something." I don't know. That's a good question. What do you think? 
Oh, was A your final answer? Yes. Yeah. And A is incorrect, my brother. Uh, Let me throw it to the women. You have 25 seconds, fearless. So there was no angel at the cross. At the right. B, right? In the upper room. I'd say B, final answer. And B is correct. In the Garden of Gethsemane. Way to go, Felix. No, she yeah. said B. Yeah, we said B. You all said B. No, we, we got, said no, B. No, no, sir. Sure. <laughs> Let him hear. Let him hear. <laughs> Let him hear. Hey, 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 you hey, hey, the church. You you know, we angel. We're in the upper room, Brother Alvin. So we said B. Okay. Here's our next question. Because now really Fearless cool. has Isn't control of the board. Oh, Fearless, this is your question. Yeah. What did the sons of Skeva do that left them naked, bleeding and running out of a house? Was it A, they withheld their offering from the Lord? B, they consorted or cohabitated with women in the temple? C, they offered unholy fire to the Lord? Or D, they wrongly invoked the name of Jesus. D. 30 seconds. I think it's D. D. We go on D, D as well. Because the other one is, is Eli's son. So I think yeah. we'll go with D, final D. answer. Wow, come on, Bible scholars. And you are correct. D. It is D. In Acts Handle. chapter 19, we will find out that they wrongly invoked the name of Jesus. Your next question is... Saul consulted with a witch from this town. Is it A, Indoor? Is it B, Gath? Is it C, Refdim? Or D, Edom? 30 seconds. We know it's A. It's a, Endor. A. a. Yes. Y'all yes. sure? Final. Y'all yeah. not going to think about it? Final. Final. <laughs> and that is correct. Y'all are hey. Bible scholars tonight. You can find that in uh, 1 Samuel. Yes, it is Indoor. Very nicely done, ladies. Here is your final question for this round. The final one. And it reads, other than Paul, who is the only apostle recorded in the Bible to cast out a demon? Is it A, Philip? Is it B, Peter? Is it C, James? Or is it D, John? 30 seconds. Who do you think? I'm not sure of this Peter. one. You think it's Peter? Peter was I a brave think. one, so it could be Peter. He was always talking. 20 <laughs> seconds. It's Peter. It could be Peter. We'll say B, final answer. We'll go with Peter. He was a big chat. And B is incorrect. It was not Peter. <clears throat> Warriors, other than Paul, who's the only apostle recorded in the Bible to cast out a demon? Oh, this is good. Did we lose any points? <laughs> <laughs> If we don't lose any points, we'll take a stab at this. this, this Lord have mercy. <laughs> I feel like, feel like James or John, I'm, mm, Lord have mercy. Uh, if, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 think, I thought Peter as well, so um, let's just call out one. Just call out one. We don't lose nothing by it, and we get up. James. Here. John. 10 seconds. What is it, Brother Elvin? James. James. And James is incorrect. <laughs> Philip. It was Philip. Yes, he was the one. only one. That's a good to one. That passed out a demon. Really good one, right? That's so, a good one. before yeah. I give you the score, just want to let our audience in on a commercial break. So, while hey. the uh, team, they're going to take some a moment to get a drink of water. And I'm going to share with you this lovely advertisement. <laughs> We would like to invite you to purchase our Boldly Bethel Gospel Assembly t-shirt. Boldly, this is how we do it. It's on the front and on the back, it says Bethel Gospel Assembly. On the side, you'll see the Christian Education Ministry um, initials there. These t-shirts are for sale. Small, medium, and large are $20. The extra large to 3X are only $23. That is a bargain for a t-shirt these days because t-shirts usually run around 25, 30, some $35. But for a low price of 20 to $23, we're so excited to get one in your hand. I would actually have mine on right now if it wasn't dirty, but don't worry, I'm buying another. 
It's really soft, 100% cotton. And if you like that cotton that moves, that's not stiff, you're going to love this shirt. If you're interested in purchasing a shirt, please email christianedge at bethelga.org. Your name, the size, and the number of shirts you desire. Again, that's Christian Ed at BethelGA.org. Name, size, and the number of shirts you desire. Thank you so much for supporting the Christian Education Ministry. And now, back to the game. I'm super excited to announce the score. A drum roll audience, are you ready? Listen, Gloria, you picked up. You picked up some steam, Warrior. And right now you are holding strong with 70 whole points. So some love for the Warriors, 70 whole points. Fearless, <laughs> fearless, you're out here on doing, doing your thing street tonight. Right now you are holding strong at 200 points solid, fearless. But again, my brothers, I'm Will, don't, you. don't, don't, don't be discouraged, Will. Be I'm not. <laughs> true. Don't be discouraged. Just, Here it was just like, just, uh, just, oh, just yes, let me right just tell it, you, when I'm Light not. of the World and Salt of the Earth, they had their competition, yeah. literally, it came down to the last yes. round, the final round, true. they came back. Right, so Light of the World okay. came back well, and right. won the game. That, though. But, but that's so it. So hold you a little faith. Oh, you don't know the race is not for the swift or for the strong. I know, no, wait, go on. Yeah. Why are you encouraging my dog? Let's see when you won. She's you. my deacon. This you one. Are. You, you are our team. Come on. In the name of All right. the that fall to so the be ground. encouraged. She's so really team on my captains, team. Camille and Will, I need a uh, person to answer. The scripture says first so question. we're gonna put it out for Dawn, Dawn, Dawn tonight. Mm -hmm. Dawn will take this right. Dawn, you're up. And who's representing the brothers? I say brother Elvin. Brother Elvin, you're up. And the scripture says, I need you to tell me what book the scripture is in. Oh, you don't have to tell, just tell me what book you think the scripture is in. If you don't know, you don't you answer. Got it, brother Elvin. Right? If you don't know, you don't answer, but whoever gets it right controls the board. And here's what it says. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Oh be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has Peter. a roaring lion Peter. walking about. Peter? Peter. Is that your final answer? Yes. And that is correct. Hey! Oh! Which one of the Peters? <laughs> 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 You don't have to tell me which Peter. It's first Peter, but you don't have to tell me which Peter. Okay. As long as just Peter. So, Fearless, you're in control of the board, and the scripture says, you're basically going to tell me what book you can find it. The scripture says, then said Jesus to them again, peace be unto you, as my father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Matthew. Final answer? You Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? She sounds sure to me the way she yelled it out. We, no, we will go. Me. We will go. Ten seconds. We don't want time to run out on us. We have a different And answer. Matthew is incorrect. <laughs> Donna. Let's go over to team the Warriors. The Warriors for 30 points. Can you give me the book that this scripture was found? John. 25. Is that your final answer? Any guys want to say anything? I'm with you, Alvin. I'm with you. <laughs> and Elvin is correct. It is found in John. Mm. And you're 30 points. Look at that. Mm. Warriors, you're in control of the board. The scripture says, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. 30 seconds. What book? Is this only New Testament? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm gonna, what, what, what do you think, Will? Matthew? Psalms? 
Give me a final Matthew. answer. Psalms. Matthew? Psalms. Psalm. And Psalms is incorrect. Mm. What? Bring it, bring it, bring it. Go ahead, play with this. No, I'm with a lot of Proverbs. Proverbs. It is Proverbs. Proverbs. You are today. Proverbs. Yeah. 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 Proverbs. Yeah. 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 What version of the Bible are we using here for this game? No, we no. <laughs> all the Bible, all the versions. Yeah, the versions. Are we using all of the versions? Yes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Your heart. Yeah. Okay, so isn't proper now? I thought we were playing the game with New Testament scriptures. This is Old Testament. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No. Here's your next no, question. No, no. This uh, question is for fear. I was off the market. Or really scripture really says, but he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, oh, wow. my, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about things. my weaknesses. Um, this is for fearless. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, 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 you're not supposed to be helping him. Let's what go. is wrong with thee? <laughs> Edit it out. Wait. Don, Therefore, like I will boast it? all the more gladly about my weakness. Oh. Where? <laughs> or do we think it's a <laughs> Is it Corinthians or Ephesians? 15 seconds. My grace is Corinthians. Yeah, okay. Corinthians. Final answer. And Corinthians is correct. Thank you, Will. Will. Go, Will. Go, Will. Brothers in Christ. Scripture says, but he said to me, uh, the scripture says, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. 30 seconds. Will, don't say a word. I know this one. I know oh, this one. I, oh. Right. Right. I'm not sure which book, but I think I think this is Paul speaking, but I'm not sure which book. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, oh. Can you help me now? Just say Galatians. Galatians, I don't know. Well, Galatians is, is incorrect. Mm. I think it is not a Galatians. Yes. It's the book. It's, Warriors. Can we take it now? Okay. Yes, Warriors. This is in Timothy. Hey, let's, Timothy. Let's, let's redeem my Final answer. answer? Timothy. Timothy. And Timothy is correct, Warriors. You are still in this. Don't give up hope. I'm sorry, all fellas. I got excited. All things work together. All things work it, together. It's all right, Will. It's all right. We know. We know. Okay. We know. 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 We but tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Brother Alvin, I believe that's in the book of Matthew. Yes, I think Matthew, yes. Yes, Matthew. Matthew is correct, my brother. Scripture says, surely he took up our pain and bore our sufferings. Yet we considered him punished by God stricken by him and afflicted but he was pierced for our transgression now he was yo, crushed for our, oh okay our iniquities the punishment come on go ahead what y'all what what what, what it Look, is it. that's the book of isaiah isaiah is that your final answer that's our I final answer right. boom y'all got that right you get the points for that my god Yes, come on, brother. I'm sorry, I I, I I I was excited. I didn't mean to jump on the question before the no. answer was. I'm That's happy you, you was excited with the right answer. Y'all was excited with the right answer. I'm I'm excited about that too. Here yeah, that the scripture the says, <laughs> "Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets, so that a herald may run with it, for the revelation awaits an appointed time." It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. Whew, that's the word. It will that is certainly book, call that, that is and Old will Testament. not delay. Old Testament, y'all. I believe seconds. that's the book of Habakkuk. Final answer? Habakkuk. 
And you yeah. are correct. It's not a book. That is Habakkuk. You mean Habakkuk? Habakkuk. You know what? I said what I said. And no, the, the judge said, knows what I said. We need God knows what I said. Well, some people, and I noticed I'm um, said Laurentians, <laughs> and that's not a, that's not a Bible. Yeah, well, well, you know, and 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 I also heard collusions. So hey, <laughs> God is not a God of Sometimes I, up north, sometimes I hear people up north say Habakkuk, which is interesting. Like, but yeah, uh, back up. Okay, gentlemen, the warriors. This one is for you. Scripture says, "But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law doth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water." that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doth shall prosper. Come on, seconds. Alvin. And that's the Psalms. There you go. Final answer? Final yeah. answer, Book of Psalms. And that is correct, my brother. You are rolling. Come on now, question number nine for this round. Jesus looked at them and said, with man, it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. 30 seconds. Gentlemen, I'm going to think, I'm going to say that that's in the book of John. Yeah. John. Because what God. Mark. Okay. You said Mark what? Let's go with John. We go with John. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Which I, one is it? I think it's, we're going with the book of John. Here yeah, we going, John. And that is incorrect. <laughs> oh. hey, it's Mark. Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, 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 final answer. And that is correct. Hey. 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 It is Mark. Hey. 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 Thank you for the help. No, I knew it. Fellas, if, 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 if fellas, do y'all see how excited she get when the women get their points? I don't I don't see that same excitement. No, 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 no. I don't know. Is, is that a conspiracy thing? That's a conspiracy thing. thing. That's no, 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 no. Oh, Taylor is not showing any kind of favoritism. She can't <laughs> Thank you. Even Listen. I get excited when y'all win. I clap and cheer. But I'm just excited like, when the boys age is. Have known that. Be, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Here's the last question for this uh, round three. Take away from me the noise of your young sons to the melody of your harps. I will not listen. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. 30 seconds. I think that's like it's Martin Luther it King. It sounds Florida. like Isaiah. What do you What do you think, Dawn? Um, it sounds like Isaiah, but I'm think I'm thinking. Fifteen Sol seconds. Solomon? No, no, it's not. It's uh, let's try we'll Isaiah. Go with Isaiah. I know it's not Solomon. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah is incorrect. <laughs> Warriors, would you like to take a stab at? This is that in Take a Bible away. or what uh, Martin Luther King's? It is in the Bible. Okay, uh. <laughs> okay that was hilarious. <laughs> you have 10 seconds. Do you have an answer? Uh, any kind of stab? Oh. Lamentation. Can we take a stab at it? But know. you won't get the points, but just for the sake of fun. Okay. What, what do you think it is? Amos. Revelation? It is Amos. Oh. It, is the, yeah. it is the prophet Amos. Everybody always thinks that King said it, but a, King of Scorpio. Yeah, Amos. Amos. <clears throat> yep, it is Amos, the prophet. All right. Um, Very nicely done. Everybody Ooh. give yourself a round of applause. Audience, yeah, give them some love. Give them some love. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of coverage to do this. So I'm going to go to my judge now to figure out what your score is. But just like I said before, Warriors, 
you put up a lot of points that round. So we're really yeah. excited for you. Yeah. And drum roll from all the audience members out there. So let me give you the final score before we go into this final round. Fearless, you're looking strong. And Team Warriors, you're looking real strong. Are you ready for the score? Warriors, you are in this game with 250 wow. points. Wow. Team Fearless, wow. they have really closed that yeah, gap. Yeah, they did. Because you now have 290 points. All right. It's a 40 wow. point difference. Wow. The wow. difference between wow. a question and the final round. Brother Elvis said, yes! Elvis, thank you taking your score. Team, this is anybody's game in the final round. Here we go. I'm going to ask the final round question, and that person will decide if they want to go first or that if they want to go last. Ooh. So there's no, it's not going to be on the board, but who is representing, who is representing Fearless? I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go. Me. Alana's representing Fearless. And, and who is representing the Warriors? As a direct. Elder. Okay. Listen, Let's try listen to the question. Listen to the question. Are you ready? Name the ninth book of the New Testament. Corinthians. That is incorrect. Alana, would you like to pass or play? Can I help her? I can play. No, she doesn't have to get it right. It, it's just that the that was wrong. Oh. So you automatically get yeah. it. What is it? Right? It was your Ephesians. one. Ephesians. Ephesians. No, it's Galatians. Galatians? Oh. Galatians is the ninth book. Okay. Right? So, Alana, would you like to start or would you like to pass? Okay. We're going to play. Play. Remember, in this round, each team gets four questions each. If you decide that you want to take the points of the other teams, uh, if they get it wrong That'll and you short. get it wrong, we're going to subtract the 40 points. Okay. okay, so don't okay. shout out no answers when it's not our turn. So, Basically, yeah. so if we if we answer it wrong, forty points, we won't lose forty points. If it's our, you turn. you will not lose forty points. Only if we answer, you will those. only lose it if you answer their question. Okay, wrong. okay, got it. Uh, All right, yeah, yeah. right. That's There's no more show. control That's of the board show. or anything like that. The first question, first question for fearless is this: Scripture says, "This is yours." The scripture says. Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whether thou goest, I will go, and whether thou lodge, lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Where thou diest, I will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. 25 Ruth. seconds. Ruth. Ruth. Final answer. Ruth. 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 And Ruth is correct. 40 that. points is yours. The Warriors. Scripture says. So he went into Gomer, the daughter of Dib Diblam, and she conceived and bore him a son. And the Lord said to him, name him Jezreel for yet a little while. And I will punish the house of Jehu for the bloodshed of Jezreel. Mm -hmm. And I will put an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Is it in Leviticus? No. Is it? Audience, help them out. Help them out. Mm. Oh. All right. Fearless, Fearless, would you like to steal? No. Nope. Nope. You don't want to steal. No. Nope. Okay, they don't want to steal, but here's a clue. Here's a clue that I thought you would get. Where is Gomer? And maybe if you don't remember, it's fine. Where's Gomer talked about in scripture? Old Testament or, or New Testament? 
So then where's Gomer talked about in the history, in the prophets? History. No, no. it's in the prophets. It's, the prophets. it's Hosea. Yeah, it's Hosea. Oh, it's in the book of I Hosea. That. Oh, I, 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 was, yeah, I knew the roof. Yeah. I knew the I knew the roof answer. <laughs> okay, but yeah. I knew Old Testament. I was thinking another part. Uh, question <laughs> number two for fearless. Question number two, fearless. Where did the Pharisees claim Jesus got his power from? A. Moses. B. Elijah. C. Belzebub or D. John. See. 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 Yeah. That's the See. See. Final answer. Final. That is so correct. Yay. That's the ball. Come on. This My is for you, team warriors. Concerning which disciple did the rumor spread that he would not die? A. Paul. B. John. C, Peter, or D, James? What do you say, fellas? What do you think, Brother Albert? How about the audience is popping off answers here? James? <laughs> and it's a variety of answers. James? James. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. And James is incorrect. Or Donna, you fearless. Fearless. Yes, fearless. it's John. It's okay. John. Final no. answer? John. John is so correct, Deacon. Right. Right. It's John. It's John. It's John. Yes, it's John. John. Hey. Right. It is John. Hey, hey. It is John. Okay. Let me not get too excited no because I would not want to be accused <laughs> by the elder. Yeah, it's okay. What happened? It's okay. okay. Oh, I'm good. I didn't want to. Okay, I'm I'm good. Good. what they want. Fine. <laughs> I'm good. Um, this I'm question good. is question. This question is for fearless. Who was the only woman mentioned by name with the apostles in the upper room waiting for the promise mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit? Was it A. Rhoda? Was it B, Mary, mother of Jesus? Was it C, Martha? Or was it D, Anna? See, 25 seconds. Mary. It has it was to be Mary. B, right? Because it wasn't Rhoda. That's not her story. Yeah. And, and it wasn't Anna. So I, we believe it's B, Mary, mother of Jesus. Yeah, they said the Mary and the other Mary, I believe. Is that your Mary. final answer? Yes. Yes. And that is... According to Acts chapter one, that is absolutely correct. Yay! Way to go, ladies. Woo! Team Warriors, this, this question is for you. Warriors. Warriors. What, what woman was raised from the dead by Peter through the spirit of God? Was it A, Tabitha? Was it B, Jarius' daughter? Was it C, Susanna? Or was it D, Sapphira, 25 seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tabitha. Yeah, Tabitha. Final Tabitha. answer? Tabi, yes. Tabi. <laughs> Tabitha. And, <laughs> Tabitha. And according to Acts chapter 9, Tabitha is correct. A is the final, is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. All right. Here is your final question, Team Fearless. Which of the following is the correct order of creation as recorded in Genesis? Mm. Is it A, light, sky, earth, and plants, heavenly lights, birds, fish, animals, and man? B, lights, heavenly lights, sky, birds, and fish, earth, and plants, animals, and man? Light, sky, birds, and fish, animals, and man, earth, plants, heavenly lights, or D, oh, light, sky, birds, and fish, plant. earth, and plants, heavenly lights, animals, and man. You have 25 seconds. Which one is it? All right. Well, I believe. Well, we're going to X out so, C because we know it's, it's not, not that. C. So, ladies, you it's guys have, you have an idea? I'd say B. I would say it's B. 
I don't have an idea. Okay, we'll say so B. We're gonna have to just go with B. B. Final answer? Yes. And B is incorrect. Mm. The Warriors. D. D is D. Uh, hold, hold on one second. We whoa, lose whoa, a point if we get this wrong, right? That's correct. You lose okay. four. Okay, we, we, we don't want this question. We want to go on to our question. No, no, no. no we don't want to well, lose Well, I was asking, is that the final answer? And the teammate said, no, that's not. Okay? okay. So you don't want to answer this question. Nah, you just give us the answer. What was the answer? <laughs> We're not going I'm not to trying that. to risk it. I'm not trying to risk it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not risking that. They all sound the same to me. The only <laughs> thing I did with was when Alana said C because we know the heavenly lights was not created last. We know that. I, can't, I, can't, I cannot <laughs> the answer. I'm happy that you said we're going to pass because D is incorrect. The yeah. answer was A. Uh -huh. Light sky earth and plants, heavenly lights, birds, fish, animals, and man. The mm -hmm. answer was A. So, question. great choice in not taking that question. Gentlemen, the Warriors, this is your final, final question. Uh -huh. Which Jewish holiday celebrates Esther's act? Was it A, Hanukkah? Was it B, Purim? Was it C, Rosh Hashanah? Or was it D, Yom Kippur? B, Purim. It's Purim. Purim. B. B. Final answer? B. 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 And B is correct. Oh, Way to go. Ah, Ended it with a being correct. And that completes the final round. That completes the final round. So I'm going to go and check in with my judges. Well, before game. I check in with the judge to get the final answer, um, I'm going to ask the warrior team, how was it? Tell the people out there what it was like to play on the team this round because some people are scared to join the team. Give me a um, um, team captain. Appoint somebody to tell us what it was like to play on your team. <laughs> um, <laughs> you see this face first? Oh, man, listen. <laughs> um, I'll say uh, uh, Elder Darren. <laughs> so, um, listen. Um, it, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, this was a lot of fun. However, it is a lot of pressure when you have 30 <laughs> seconds to answer questions Here that you really haven't paid attention to, mm -hmm. you know, for for years. I mean, some of these things, yeah. some of these things come to us so easy. We can quote the scriptures and yet we forget where they're found sometimes or yeah. you know, it depends. And in my head right now is not there, my head is you know <laughs> trying to graduate from college. So when you, when you said <laughs> Genesis, and the and as well as I know the book of Genesis, I wasn't trying to answer that question. You know, <laughs> yeah, but th this is really exciting. Uh, it's fun. I think when this comes back, the more the the more the merrier. I think more of us to join. So don't be afraid. You know, listen, we're all sitting in our own separate homes and just enjoying. Uh, each other's presence and company. And it's, it's a game, uh, you know, awesome. it, 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 whoever wins, whoever lose, you know, right. we, we, we're not getting a Rolls Royce, you know, we're not getting an exclusive dinner. Well, I don't know that. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> no, you're not, you're not. <laughs> you know? You're not. But be encouraged. I'm not. Be encouraged to uh, speak, you know, to come in and join the group because this was a lot of fun. Yes. Awesome, awesome. And Team Fearless, give us Team Captain, you or someone from your team, what was the your favorite part about it? What was your favorite part? Um, just uh, seeing the men get humbled really quickly. Oh! Oh! said that our enemies that's all, right. that's all right. That's all right. Well, uh, thank you all for playing. I will say this again to all of you out there that are watching, whether you are friends of Bethel or uh, a part of our local ministry, um, this was pretty fun as your host. And I wish that you would be courageous enough to like join in with us. Uh, if you want a season two, if you want a season two, let us know, because we will make sure that we plan for a season two. But for now, yep, you can put that in the chat. Go ahead and put that in the chat. If you want to see a season two and who do you want us to bring back 
And then we want a lot of you to come and participate as well. But listen, it's time to decide who the winner is. I've checked in with my judge. My judge has given me a score. So a huge, huge drum roll out there. Make some noise. The winning team of the final episode of Bethel GA, Bethel Gospel Assemblies Bible Trivia is with the Warriors! 50 points, <laughs> the fearless women! <laughs> challenging trying to think in the moment like you know scripture you know the word or you think you have a good handle of it but when people asking you questions from all over the scriptures Mm -hmm. sometimes it gets a little nerve-wracking but it's all in it's all in fun it's all in growth so um i just applaud them for their willingness for their yes they just said yes and came out was so vulnerable and so we're so um proud of them and we're so thankful for their willingness to serve in this capacity and so thank you for giving them love in the chat thank you for giving them love 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 god bless you all listen we have come to the end of our night together Mm. and while i know some people like well this is not a prayer service this is not what we normally do but change is good it's all right because we still delve into the word and if you need a word you know that all things that's what's been on my heart all things work together so for the one that felt that they didn't get a word just know that all things work together for the good of them that love god and that are called according to his purpose know that the lord is working it out for your good. If you are someone that is watching and you stand in need of prayer tonight, you need me, sis, pray for me. Or I want someone to pointedly pray for me. I encourage you to call our church. And our number is 212-860-1510. That's 212-860-1510 if you stand in need of prayer. Or you may be someone on the line right now and you're saying, I don't know Jesus, but I want you just bumped into this and you want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. It's nothing that is fancy or nothing that is a big hoopla. It's a simple prayer from your heart. Simply pray this prayer with me and you can be saved. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I realize that I'm a sinner and I have been far apart, far away and apart from you. You said in your word that if I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you, Jesus, you died for me, you're put in the grave, you rose on the third day with power in your hand over all of the earth, that I could be saved. And tonight, I don't understand it all, but I believe that I am saved. If you pray that prayer, the Lord sees your heart and he hears your words and you are saved. Now that's not just it because salvation is free. It's free. It's free to quote that. But the real challenge, your walk with the Lord, your discipleship, that's what's going to cost you. And if you mean business with the Lord tonight, I pray that you would draw the line in the sand and that you will be discipled. What does that mean? That you would allow someone to walk with you and grow you in the faith, grow you in your word, grow you in your relationship with the Lord. And if you don't know where to go, I'm not saying you have to come to Bethel, but we warmly invite you. We invite you to join our e-church, which is our online service and our online congregation. And we invite you to join us in, in, in person. If you call that number 212-860-1510, if you've accepted the Lord in your heart tonight, we will direct you with the right parties to make sure that you are discipled and loved on and that you grow in the word. This is the best decision that you could ever make for all of us. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you for the divine appointment for the one Lord God that just so happened to be surfing the internet and then bumped into this service while they thought they bumped into it. Lord, you divinely appointed it to them this night. And we say, thank you. I pray God uh, blessings upon their life, even as they engage in the game, Lord. I pray that you would grow us in the word, that you would allow us or push us to be spiritually disciplined as we continue to walk with you, oh God 
we pray that we will be living epistles, that our representation of you would be real and that it will be true and you would be proud of it, oh God. I pray that you would bless my sister and bless my brother that is on this line who has given their heart to the Lord or for the one that stand in need of prayer. You know their needs, you know them by name. And we pray, Lord God, that you would touch them and bless them at the point of need. We consider it done as I call out to you, our Father, who not only hears our prayers, but answers our prayers. You are the God that answers our prayers, oh God. So thank you for doing that, answering your sons and your daughter's prayers. We thank you for what you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I say to all of you a great, great, great big God bless you. We're so excited that you would spend time with us. And we hope that you would come and visit us. Come and visit us um, if you're ever in the New York City, Harlem area. I leave you with this blessing. Yes, I do. May your struggles keep you near the cross. And may your troubles show you that you need God. May your battles end the way that they should. And may your bad days prove that God is good. May your whole life, your whole life, nothing be lost. Prove that God is good. Don't just go to church. Be the church. Read your Bible. You'll be a better Christian. God bless you. And have a good night. Amen. Good night. Amen.